Hello everyone, I am Mr. Satatech. Today I will explain the importance of backing up your Windows computer and how to do it. Backup can save you from a big headache when your important files on your computer are deleted. Windows is infected with a virus or your computer crashes. With a few clicks on your computer, you can bring your computer back to its old trouble-free state in minutes. If you do not back up, it can be really difficult. We may need to reinstall Windows. We may also need to reinstall programs. We need to reinstall all the settings. This is a huge torture and will take a few days. So definitely back up your Windows computer and watch this video until the end. The backup process is very easy in Windows 10 and 11. By watching this video, you will learn how to back up your computer with a free and professional program. The program we will use is free and also more comprehensive. Also, if your Windows computer does not open at all, you can use this program as a bootable by writing it to an external USB disk. You can access the backup program by running the program from the USB at the start of the computer and restore your backup from the other external disk. Believe me, once you learn this process, you will understand that it is really easy. And most importantly, you will feel safe for yourself and your computer. You can download the program for free from its own website. The name of the program is AOMEI Backupper. Believe me, I could not find a better program than this. Easy, simple, and free. Isn't it great? I will also add the link to the site where you will download the program and also the direct download link of the program in the description section of the video. Let's start if you want. We installed the program we downloaded to our Windows and we start it by clicking on it. As you see, there are many options. If you want, you can back up the existing C partition. If you want, you can back up your disk completely. If you want, you can back up your disk to another disk. You can create an exact copy. That is, you can create a copy of your disk, for example. This will be very useful when you get a new disk. Yes, as you can see, the program has many features that I cannot list, although you have to pay for some features. Basic operations such as backing up Windows and backing up your disk are free. Of course, restoring the Windows backup you have taken is also free. I think this is great. I would like to thank the company that makes the program in advance. Anyway, let's continue on with the topic. The best option for backup is an external hard disk. That's why you should get an external disk. You can easily find it in many shopping malls. You can also make a backup by opening a separate partition next to the disk where you installed Windows. But this is dangerous because sometimes viruses can corrupt your entire disk and you cannot access your backup file. You need to choose an external disk according to the final size of the C partition and the space your files occupy. If you have just installed Windows and want to back up in its pure form, maybe 30 or 60 gigabytes will be enough. However, if you have installed various programs on Windows, an external hard disk space of 100 to 200 or 500 gigabytes can help you. For this, you need to get an external disk according to your needs. We open the program. As you can see, there are many options. Without going into too much detail, I want to show you here, with this option, you can back up the C partition by following the steps, or you can back up your disk completely by following these steps. Now let's back up the key partition. I click on backup. As you can see, my key disk is selected. From where you see below, we find our external disk and create a backup file in it and press the proceed button. Yes, the program started backing up the Windows key partition to the external disk. Yes, the process is over in about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the fullness of the disk. It's that simple. If something happens to your computer, you can restore your computer to its previous state by selecting your backup file from the restore section you see below. In this way, you can easily restore your computer from the backup file. In the second part of the video, if your computer does not open at all, I will show you how to restore the backup file to your computer. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you can be informed about my new videos. See you in the next video.